Well, hello everyone, the Ontario Garden here, back with another automation tutorial. And today we're going to be making what? Scones. Now, I haven't really had much scones. Like, I mean, I, I like croissants, I like pieces of pie, depending on what it is, you know. But a scone is like a, a biscuit type thing, I guess. I don't know. But this is the automation I've set up. Now, you can do this with a with a safety hob and not, or excuse me, a yeah, safety hob and not using one mixer to do everything. But the way it works is as follows. You basically are, um, you're cracking an egg, you're, you're combining the egg and the flour, you're kneading that, and then, uh, excuse me, you're acting, yeah, you're, you're adding the egg with the flour, cracked egg with the flour, you knead this one time, then you got to add the whipping cream. The whipping cream comes from this container, and you, you, you can portion directly from this. Um, it's not how exactly how like oil works, but you can portion from this. You don't have to pull it out and then portion like you do the butter and that actually works better than you add the whipping cream, then you knead it again and then you cook it and then you portion it. So a heated mixer can do all of this and let's just fire this up real quick and I will show you exactly how it works. It's pretty good, by the way, to save on appliances. Basically, one heated mixer. This could be a rapid mixer. This could be any mixer as long as you have another grabber after it. And there you go. And the way scones work is it actually gives you eight portions. So you're like, you know what? The heated mixer does take a little bit of time, but it puts out eight portions. And that's a lot because scones um, aren't a main. I'm just going to pull it out just to show you that it does actually make eight portions. Um, you know, portions, and look at the, it puts a plate there, which is funny, and the plate disappears because you have to have, has to have something there. And there you go. So right away, these two things are ready to go. The egg actually isn't being cooked, even though it says it can be cooked, just like this down here isn't actually being kneaded, despite, um, well, it shows that it was kneaded, I guess you would say. And then you could portion directly from this as well, which you don't have to do that manually, by the way. But if you do need whipped cream, it turns into something else. Uh, if you do eggs, obviously it will crack it or it'll turn it back into, you know, like cooked eggs or something like that. But again, this is pretty straightforward. Now, it's not the most compact. Now, again, yeah, you could put, you could, I'm just going to get out of this mode here so I can walk around better. You could, you could put a, uh, you could put a uh, corner grabber here and have the prep station here. I always, I never count these, this thing, these three things in my automation sizes because it's always optional. You don't need to have a portioner, a grabber, and a safety, in a, a prep station, a grabber, and a portion. You don't need to have those in order for this to work. So if you're looking just at the bare bones of it here with my mouse here, it's four by three. So it's 12 squares minus one, but it still counts uh, as a square because I count them as a block. So it's four by three, which is pretty compact for what it is. Again, if you don't have a conveyor mixer, you could have a mixer here, a corner grabber here, eggs here, so it'd be eggs, corner grabber, mixer, grabber to here. So you would it would be the same size if you would have a regular mixer or another type of mixer. You could have rapid or regular. You couldn't use a heated mixer because that will end up cooking the eggs, and that's uh, going to give you that's, uh, that's a bad time. Going to give you a bad time. So you want to have something set up like this. But again, four by three, pretty straightforward. There you go, guys cut and dry. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, or if you like scones in general, please consider leaving me a comment. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I got to say it the right way. Please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. It would be much appreciated. I got to sign off the same way, guys. So, you, so, so sometimes it sounds like I'm a robot, but now nah. leave a like and a comment, guys. Much appreciated. And if you're enjoying my automation videos or any other video on my channel, hit that subscribe button, take the bell notification icon, and I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.